Hello there, just a little exercise for disc problems in the cervical spine. Uh, disc problems normally start from around C5, C6 and C7. Um, so that's normally from about this point here down. So we want to try to immobilize that area as much as possible um, and work the area above it and work the area below it to compensate for the problem you've got. So the first way I do this is by loosening much further down your thoracic spine and the lower ribs. So bring the arms above your head, draw your chin to your chest, support your head in your hands, really reach up towards the ceiling, put some traction through there, almost try to lift yourself up. And you're going to try and work on this section, okay, and the latissimus dorsi muscle which comes down from the arm to here. You're going to side bend a little bit to the side, breathe out as you go, breathe in, and breathe out as you come back to the center, and again to the same, to the other side, and back to the center, like that, okay. You, if you've got a shoulder issue, you may feel you need to bring your arms forward slightly, okay, like that, and just, just reach forward a bit further instead, okay. And then breathe out as you go, breathe in as you come back, breathe out as you go, and breathe in as you come back. Uh, if your shoulder has a bit of an issue, you can actually start by warming up by doing a simple towel stretch. Bring your towel behind your back, pull up to there, hold that for 30 seconds, reverse it to so the other arm is being pulled up your back like that for 30 seconds, then reverse to the other side like this. Always, of course, keep your head as upright as possible. It's a good preliminary stretch to do before you actually do this one here, okay? Once you've done that, then let's go up the other end. Okay, let's try and support the neck again. So place our hands around the base of the neck. So if you've got a bit of a, you should have a lump on the back of your neck here. Some people do. Put your middle finger around that section there. And that gives you a space of about an inch, inch and a half at the base. So uh, at the base of the skull and just beneath that. So it allows a tiny bit of movement. So you're going to brace your neck here. Okay, again, trench your chest. Try to lengthen your spine. Imagine you're being pulled up to the ceiling and simply rock the head from side to the side, okay? And you're trying to get as much movement in the upper cervical spine as possible. Don't overdo it though. If you get any pain, please stop or reduce the range of the motion. It's just a subtle movement there, okay? You may want to move your fingers down a bit further, so here I am, I put my hands lower down now. So my elbows are further down, I'm applying, my hands are being pulled further down as well. And then at this point, and a little bit more motion now, like that, remember of course, to keep the chin into the chest as much as you can. If it hurts, like I said, do less motion or stop if it's really, really bad, okay? So that's the first movement I like to do there. Then I like to go, go back. Uh, I, I grab my hands on the back of the shoulder blade here and here, okay? So my elbows are almost at the front, slightly drop down in that position, okay? Holding my tummy in, okay? And then twist my body to the side. Let your head go with it. Don't have to move your neck on this one, okay? Twist the body to the side. Same thing, breathing in and breathing out, and breathing out in particularly on the movement, and breathing in at rest, and then breathe out as you come back to the center. So breathe out, breathe in, breathe out, and back to the center. And that's to mobilize the area just below the base of your neck. So what we've done there is we've worked uh, the lower ribs and lumbar, uh, lower thoracic spine. We then went up to the top of the cervical spine where the rotation occurs. And uh, then we're slightly just beneath the base of your neck there, okay? So give that a try. It should give you a bit more mobility. And uh, obviously, you know, don't expect it just to suddenly take your pain away. But what it's going to do is increase, improve the function in your spine as a whole. And that will allow your body to get better quicker. But give that a try. I mean, you can probably do that, say, every couple of hours. Just spend a few minutes doing that at uh, most. You don't, need to, you don't want to be overdoing it. That's the most important thing. Anyway, good luck with that. See how you go. Speak to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.